Hello guys and welcome to my second tutorial of my recipes. In this previous video I showed you how to make cherry and chocolate muffins and today I'm going to show you how to make a Victorian sponge cake. I'm going to tell you how many ingredients you will need. You just need some caster sugar and you you also need some butter and it has to be softened when you're making some cakes or other cakes and first you you have to soften it like this I'm going to tell you what measurements you will need. So you need 200 grams of caster sugar and 200 grams of softened butter. So let's just put that in um, and to this I am going to add 4 eggs which has to be beaten in this recipe you'll need to beat this those eggs because it says beaten eggs in this recipe because If your eggs have already been beaten like this, you can just put that in and you will need this to, to mix it in gently and then it says in the recipe so just to beat it in gently. Do you say if it's beaten like this or the butter is too long, pay you can mix it even more. To add to this recipe, you will need two tablespoons of milk. So you're going to measure one and another one so that's it and another thing to add is the baking powder so you need one teaspoon of that let's give that as one tablespoon one teaspoon So you see, that's a teaspoon, so you're going to put that in as well. The final thing I'm going to put into the sponge cake mix is a, is a self-raising flour. So you need 200 grams of that. So. I am just going to put that in um, I'm going to put this in until it's well combined and it's and it's and it's until it's you have a smooth soft batter
give this bottle a mix through until it is smooth and have a smooth butter. Do you see this mixture? If it's still lumpy, carry on. If it's smooth enough, I'm going to show you how to separate it in two tins. If your but butter is like this and it's smooth, then I'm going to show you how to put in two separate tins. Now I've got two tins and firstly, you have to grease them all like this. You have to grease the bottom and the sides, it is all greased together. Do you see? That's what your grease tin should look like. Do you get it? Now I have my grease tins and to divide it into two pieces. You have to put that in the separate tins. So put that into separate tins. You need two tins and you just need 20 centimetre tins and you're going to put the cake batter in. Do you see this? That is how I am set for eating two tins. So you're gonna shake it off like this or do it with a spatula or the back of the spoon. It's up to you guys. And once you have done that, you can put these batters in the oven for 20, 20 minutes. But 190 say that's 170 fan. Just put it in for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to show you how to make the butter cream for the sponge cake. Now I'm going to show you how to make this filling for the buttercream with this with this Victorian sponge re recipe. I'm going to tell you what measurements and ingredients you need. So you need icing sugar, the jam and the butter and some drop of vanilla as well. What I need to do, as I'm, you will need one hundred grams of butter. You will need one hundred grams of butter, so I'm gonna soften it. I'm gonna tell you about butters. Make sure you soften it when you're making ice cream when you're making buttercream because this is really important when you do such flavoured flavoured buttercreams such as this recipe that, that I told you about on this video you're going to soften it like this until it is really much softened about and you're going to put this into a bowl. Next I'm going to add to that thing is to add 140 grams of icing sugar. Remember what I said in the previous video about, about cocoa sugar. Cocoa powder with lumps in. 
remember if you're on some sugar and lumps in it, remember you can get rid of any lumps whatsoever until it has disappeared. So try and get rid of any lumps whatsoever until it's disappearing. The next thing I'm going to add on is a drop of vanilla extract. So give it a drop until not that's it. Just a drop of vanilla extract, nothing more. And once you the stage like this, you can whisk it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now you're gonna whisk it like this until it is looks like a book of cream. Did you see the buttercream that looks like that? The final ingredient I'm going to tell you is 170 grams of good quality strawberry jam. So this is a strawberry jam I'm going to tell you. So it's like this. And you have to mix it a lot before it's, it's going in the cake. Make sure you mix the jam to get rid of any lumps. And same with the icing sugar that I whipped up in this video. So you're going to mix it until it's like this and has no lumps. Oh God, look at the cakes. They've all been risen and it's not, not completely risen yet. So I'm giving it more time to rise. If the lumps are still in the jam, you can still mix it and still have no lumps in. Just to tell you the cake, you can, when it's done, you can, you can press it until, until it springs back when pressed. Or you can use a skill to test it when it's done. When it's done, I am going to tell you how to spread the buttercream on top of the 
one of the kites ready to buy it and I'm going to put the jam on top of the butter cream so I'm going to tell you how to do it when it's baked. If you don't know this recipe, I could write it in the description below for this recipe and I'm going to put a link in the description so you know what, what recipe of this I'm talking about so you, you can remember what to make it. Now the fun first sponge cake has came out of the oven. Now I'm just gonna wait for the second one to be done. Then I'm gonna show you how to sandwich the two cakes. If your first one is done, first you're gonna take some time to lay it cool down a bit. This, I got the final piece of the cake. If you want me to show you how to sandwich the cake, then I'm gonna show it to you as a tutorial. Now both of my cakes have come out of the oven, so I'm gonna tell you how to sandwich the cakes. Now, what you'll have to do is to spread the buttercream on one of the cupcakes. So you're going to have to spread it all over on one of the cupcakes, them cakes. So you're going to use all of the buttercream. And finally, you have to t top it with the with the jam that I mixed with. So do you get it all? So keep going until you finally sandwich the second cake. Once you have used up all the buttercream, now you have to top it with some jam that I just mixed in you're going to top this with this jam so you got to keep going until it's all in all but invited to this cake so spread it all over. Now, once you've got all the jam on top, you have to sandwich it with the second sponge on top. And that's it. If you want to put any icing sugar on top you can or you can leave this as it is it's up to you so if you like this recipe subscribe to my channel for new future videos bye